Hey, what's up? This is Fabi from The Next Big Rush, and today I want to briefly touch upon how you can go to official websites to check who owns what and how much of it they own. It's a great tool if you're like me and you're looking for the heavyweights and trying to guess what their next move is going to be. So, follow me. So I want to start off with Canadian Insider, which is a super useful website. And later on, I'm going to make videos about CDI and CDAR, which are a bit more complicated, but they have a wealth of information. So let's start off with Canadian Insider. You basically have an alert service here that's free which tells you when big shareholders are buying or selling the company that you are watching. So let's choose a company here. Uh, let's see, Gold Corp. Gold Corp Inc. Okay, so you have uh, some information about the stock up here. Here you get the insider chart for the past six months. It's always for the past six months. Um, so you have insider equity acquisition. So basically when insiders are buying, okay, and the price at which they bought. And then you have insider equity disposition or selling. And then you have the red X's all along. Down here, you have the name of the people who are buying and or selling. And then you have, uh, this is a purchase, purchase, this is sale and the price. Some of them are going to be options. Some of them are going to be shares. Some of them are going to be warrants, etc., etc. Now, the most useful thing is to actually track the companies that you are interested in or you've already bought. How do you do that? Well, sign up for an account and then you will be able to track those particular companies that you own. I really like this because sometimes you will see that a company has gone up quite a bit and then some people are trying to or starting to sell some shares. Now this could be for many different reasons. It could be that they just need some liquidity it could be that they're taking a very low salary because they own so many shares or it could be because they're going through a divorce or they need to pay for some obnoxious bill. There are many different reasons, but when you see a wave of sellers, that's usually not a great thing. It means that the insiders don't want to wait for the stock to go up in price Maybe because they don't believe that it's gonna go up much higher, maybe? Well, that's for you to decide. It's always very good though to see insiders buying at the same price that you are buying or even higher. That's always a good sign. It means that they have complete faith in the stock and that they're willing to bet their own money on it. So sign up to Canadian Insider you will get all the alerts that you want for the stocks in Canada, which really interest you. I'm a user and I recommend this service. If you like this video, if you like Canadian Insider, hit like and subscribe because there's a lot more coming your way.